I think he is a master chef. Rahmat. Good morning world, welcome back to our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. We are here in the city of Jalalabad in Kyrgyzstan. And we had a beautiful night in this amazing room here. I'm so absolutely impressed. The quality of their rooms and their hospitality is high class. I just want to spend like a month, you know, just in Kyrgyzstan in accommodation because we have spent some time and very, very nightmare looking rooms plus a free breakfast in the morning is just it's a good way to start the day we have just one more ride here in Kyrgyzstan to do so let me show you guys where we're heading today so we are all the way down here and today we're going to be heading down to the Silk Road city of Osh just on the border to Uzbekistan so last night when we were having a check over of the bike we realized that one of the rollers on the chain was missing this one here. This doesn't look really good for the chain. Now this is not good news because this is exactly what happened to us before in Chile. First there was one roller missing and then more and more rollers started to break off. Basically it means that the chain is getting stretched. It's no longer fitting on the rear sprocket. It's basically starting to break down. Yesterday we found a tour company which are renting out actually motorcycles in Osh. So we contacted this guy and he said he would try to organize a spare part because because apparently they have a, a motorbike service as well on site. So that would be absolutely amazing if he can figure something out. Yeah, I guess we'll find out when we get to Osh. Google Maps says it's 83 miles to Osh, which is about three and a half hours. We have still to pack up everything, so better hit the road, let's go. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Nice! 8.20 a.m. hitting the road. We are so organized, hey, aren't we? It's gonna get hot today for sure. Yeah. It's 23 degrees at the moment, yeah. but uh, the forecast is over 35. So we're starting as kind of early as we could to try to get somewhere before it gets too hot. So I think I have to go this way. Yeah. But today is gonna be a paved road day after <laughs> quite a few days in the mountains on some very bumpy roads. Climbing up, up, up. Yeah, climbing, climbing, yeah, wow. <sighs> the stupid mudguard screw is gone. Huh? No, look at this. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's a bit dodgy, that was. That was man. Where our chain guard broke and our chain broke. Yeah, pretty much, hey. We always uh, come out of a mountain pass with a little bit of damage, hey? <laughs> damage to ourselves and damage to Bumblebee. Yeah. <laughs> it's still not the easiest to up on a big bike on bumpy roads. Absolutely. Just coming into a town called Uzgen. It's a busy Wednesday in Uzgen. Yeah, it's like 9.20 at the moment. I don't know where everyone is going. It's rush hour, man. Yeah, full on, hey? Full on and hot. Yeah. 28 degrees now, so we definitely, it's coming up. It's coming up. But otherwise, it's just another 34 miles actually to the town of Osh. So it's not that far. That guy just opened the door in the middle of the traffic. So it's not that far. I guess I have to be careful, eh? Yeah. Hey, that guy just was just stopped and got out of the car. Oh, but on the other side, yeah? No, right next to us. No way. Oh no, somebody's pushing a car up there. Oh no! Hello! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> yeah, look. Can you see these guys? Yeah, I think he's pushing it to the side now. Yes. Yes! <laughs> we made it to the front. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a busy day today. Look at this, everybody's out and about. Wow. Yeah. It's a busy place. It's 
So we're just coming into the outskirts of Osh now. We're going to make our way over to the motorcycle tour company. We haven't actually heard from them as to whether they can or can't get a chain and sprocket set for us. But uh, we thought we'd just ride over to them anyway and just see yeah, if there's anything they can do today. See if we're lucky. Osh is the second largest city in Kyrgyzstan, but it's only 322,000 people living here. So Ooh. it's a lot smaller than Bishkek. And yet it doesn't really feel like a city at the moment. No. <laughs> it feels like we're going down a small country road. Country road. So apparently it's just here somewhere. One of these warehouse buildings here. See you again here. Send me the location point. It's right here. Alatumoto. Oh, yeah. All right, let's see what they can do. Oli, nice to meet you. Come in, come in. Nice to meet you. Wow, you have a lot of motorbikes here, hey? Some Honda CRF 250s. Look at these guys. Whoa, these are nice. Yeah. All right. Came from uh, Russia, Kazakhstan. Ah, One, two, three. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so, yesterday we just realized that. Oh, here. One, one missing here. Yeah, normally you need to change all. All right. It's complete. All yeah. right. But. Okay, so apparently these guys don't have the chain in our size. There's a thing called a chain pitch and ours is 525. And it's basically the gap between the links um, to match up with the sprocket. These guys have a 520 pitch, but that is not gonna fit on our sprocket. They don't have the front and rear sprocket for this bike either. So the best thing for us to do is to continue make our way to Tashkent. We can pre-order the chain and sprocket set, get everything changed in Tashkent. But Kamil here is just seeing if he can reattach one of our spokes. Because look how many spokes they've got. Do you have many broken uh, when you rent them out? Yes, yes. Yes? yes. <laughs> oh, cool. That's good. Right, so. Rahmat. 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 Three, two, one. Okay. Yes. Thank you so much. Yeah, we Hello. see you. Thank you. <sighs> bye bye. So we couldn't find a chain and sprocket set, but we could at least get the chain guard reattached and get that loose spoke reattached. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we asked him if it would be possible to order a new chain and sprocket, but he says uh, no chance. Nothing like in the kind of time scale that we would be looking for anyway. So we still have the contact in um, Tashkent. Ivan is his name and he actually said that he can order it. Plus, you know, we asked there and he said that as long as we're not doing some crazy off-road or anything like this, it should be fine the chain as it is to reach Tashkent yes. safely. So I I think yeah if we just organize a new chain and sprocket set for Tashkent then I think yeah we, we will be absolutely fine yeah we decided that we're gonna stay one night here in Osh which should also give us a chance to see this what is actually a really ancient city so we found a guest house which is sort of more towards the center so we're gonna ride there now unpack everything and then we can have a bit of a walk around sightseeing it's pretty amazing actually because the city of Osh is actually one of the most ancient cities in Central Asia it's the oldest city in Kyrgyzstan and it's estimated to be 3,000 years old and it's also interesting because this is our first point in the journey intersecting with the ancient Silk Road. So Osh used to be basically the halfway point on the Silk Road that then continued through Tajikistan and into China. People have been coming through this area for thousands of years and it's really cool as well because there's a bazaar in the center of town which we're going to go to later and apparently there has been a bazaar on this spot for more than 2,000 years. Really impressive.
Hey guys, Editing Ollie here. As we make our way towards the ancient heart of this city, I wanted to take a minute to thank this video's sponsor, On Vacation Doctor, and tell you guys about their super handy travel app. The On Vacation Doctor app connects you to top English-speaking doctors in any country in the entire world, including here in Kyrgyzstan. They even have one listed right here in Osh. Just put in your location and this app provides you with the name, location and phone number of the closest English speaking doctor to you. It also provides local ambulance, fire and police numbers as well as the local US Embassy address and phone number. This app is totally free for the first six months so why not give it a try on your next travel. Download the app for free today by clicking the link in the description below. Now back to the video. Whoa this is a busy 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 city. Okay I'm gonna go around a little bit. Oh my lord. Oh my lordy lord. Okay, he's not really happy. No, nobody is really happy here. <laughs> nope. Okay. Yep. I don't know if you guys can see, but behind that building in the background, there is a, a mountain. And uh, it's interesting because that mountain is actually the only UNESCO World Heritage Site in Kyrgyzstan. And it's actually a holy mountain because it's said that a prophet, an Islamic prophet, is actually buried there and so that mountain has actually been a pilgrimage place for Islamic people. It's said that uh, pregnant women who visit there will have a successful birth. Ah, oh, there! Over There's the mountain! Yeah, impressive mountain! So we drove around the block a few times, but we finally found it. We found the hostel down here. That's absolutely crazy. Can you see in the corner of the screen? I left this on the bike outside in the sun for like 30 minutes, half the screen had gone black and the Garmin is actually so hot, I can barely like hold it. That's hot outside, man, that is hot. Awesome, got our room sorted. We've got like a double bed and then an extra single bed for all our crap. <laughs> and uh, it's really funny actually, because in the bathroom there is like a drain, a proper outdoor on the street drain and I can like hear water flowing underneath it. So I have no idea what that's about. How crazy is that, hey? <laughs> so anyway, we got our room sorted. We've got Bumblebee all wrapped up in the shades. We're ready to go to this 2000 year old market. So this is the start of the bazaar now. Look at the traditional heads. Oh yeah, look at these. Very nice. <laughs> Hello. Hello. But we're not here for hats. Our first mission is to find some food. We haven't had lunch yet and I'm hungry. Cool, look at this! Amazing! So this little cafe restaurant is like right on the river in the center of the city in the market which is 2,000 years old. Hey, we're proper tourists now! Yes. I hope it's not too spicy. <laughs> <laughs> so this is pretty much one of the main dishes that you can get here in Kyrgyzstan. It's called lachman and it's basically noodles with some vegetables and there is like beef in here but we've decided that whilst we're here in Kyrgyzstan we're just going to embrace it. It's interesting they make these noodles by actually stretching the dough. They stretch out really really thin. So it makes these like really thick, thick noodles. 
and I have no idea what meat that is, but it very well could be horse or sheep or beef, because I know that all three are very popular here, so. <laughs> Sorry, Natalie, it's probably horse. So this is the Jaima Bazaar and it's actually one of the largest markets in the whole of Central Asia. Yeah, you can literally buy everything and anything here. I thought it would be like just like a tourist market or something, souvenirs and trinkets, but actually the local people here are using this market to buy like everything they need, from clothes to food to everyday household items. There's stationery shops, there's repair shops. It's not just for tourists. In fact, I can't really see any tourists here. <laughs> <laughs> this one here is a sheep's tail. Pretty crazy. And look at these amazing sugar crystals. Wow, that looks amazing. So there we go, Jaima Bazaar. It's just pretty amazing that people have been trading exactly along this route for 2,000 years. People are still trading, people are still spending money here. <laughs> there you go, pretty incredible to be here on the Silk Road. So we will just head back now to our room and that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below and we will see you next time.